We welcome in now sophomore center Kelsey Langhart. Kelsey, you lived through it. What were those summer workouts like? They were difficult, to say the least. But, I mean, we, we were there for each other. Our team is very encouraging, and we, got, we made it through. We dominated it. How are they different than in the past? I think that the difference between last summer and this summer was the fact that we knew what we were capable of. We knew that finishing the season last year, we could go into the summer and work our butts off, go into the fall, and then start the season strong. And I think that that just motivated us more and made us want to work even harder. What did that unbreakable mentality mean to you? I think that it took everyone a while to to get there at first. We struggled a lot and we had to push each other through it, but at the end of the day, we realized that to be unbreakable meant that you had to stay together and that no, no matter what challenge we faced, we were able to stick together and get through it. As a group, you guys got through it. Where did you start to see yourself personally start to develop as a result of some of the conditioning in the off season? I think that probably a few weeks into the conditioning in June, I realized that my body was changing and that I was feeling faster and stronger. And at that point, I really believed in what Sean, Coach Sean, um, was doing. And I think that everyone did, and we all just bought in and kept working at it. How have you bought into your new role on this team? It was hard at first. I've never really been offensively minded. I always had looked to pass first or, you know, make an extra pass. And Coach Aston told me at the beginning of the summer, and well, really at the beginning of the fall, I guess, that I was going to need to change my mindset into scoring. And I think that after hearing it from all the coaches and all my teammates and how much they all believed in me, I think that it made it easier to change. Obviously, some of the opportunity that you've had as a result of Amani McGee Stafford, she had preventative surgery. Do you think that you were capable of moving into that role? And then as a second part to that, how has she helped you in that role? Um, I think that after my freshman year, you know, you kind of get all your nerves out and you know what it's like to play in the Big 12. And so I think that whenever Amani told me that she was going to get surgery and that she was going to be out for the first few months of the season, it kind of surprised me that I was just going to be kind of thrown into there. But she's been great. She was helping me so much on the sideline, coaching me whenever she was out. And now that she's back in, able to watch her and watch how she practices and plays, and she's still helping me. How do you guys now see your roles developing on this team, having you both back and healthy? I think that we just push each other, you know? Last year, it was more me learning from her and trying to get through, you know, the games. And it, it was hard last year being a freshman. But this year, I think that we're both learning from each other and we're both pushing each other to just be the best we can be, which will only help the team. You know, when you talk about teams with that winning mentality, the mentality that it takes to get all the way to the national championship, do you guys think that you've adopted that yet? In other words, do you think that that you're at that level now where you think that, that you guys can hang with any team out there? I think that the whole team is very confident right now and we just trust each other and know that if you're not having a good night, someone else will step up and be there for you. And I think that we are starting to adopt that mindset. I think that it started in the summer with Coach Sean in the training. It just, he changed our mindset and it's carried over into the season.